this your girl Diana. What's up, squad? All right, guys. I hope everybody is feeling well on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday. God is so good. When I say it's beautiful out here, it is beautiful, guys. Uh, we had a storm that came through last night, and maybe some of you guys had that storm come through. The winds were howling and raging last night. It started all about midnight, and it lasted for about four hours. Uh, we had wind that was blowing like crazy. But we made it through. God is good. We made it through the night. We thank him for the rain because we needed the rain. So let's go ahead and talk. Let's get this video. All right, guys. So I'm back. So I'm driving. I'm going to the store called Ollie's. And the reason I'm going, I got my mask, yes. The reason I'm going is because I'm redoing my back porch where I always sit. And I'm going to make that my prayer closet and my meditation area because in the house it's like so much noise i hear my grandkids i can't concentrate i can't focus so i have to find a place to dedicate to god and um you ever heard of prayer closets if you read the book of acts oh my god it just blowed my mind i just finished reading acts the book of acts in the new um testament today we had to read that was one of, a part of our homework and when i tell you it blessed me it really blessed me to see how they prayed, how they were on one accord, how the Holy Spirit was with them, how Jesus was with them, how God was with them. And it just blew my mind how God kept them, even in the midst of their suffering. When I was reading about Paul uh, in the book of the, in the book of Acts, really blew my mind. There were other people there in the book of Acts that blew my mind too. But to see everything that Paul went through, Paul, and let me give you a little bit about Paul. Let me just go back. Before he became Paul, his name was Saul, okay? And he was a bad man. He was a man that was um, killing Christians, anybody who believed in God, uh, who believed in Jesus. Uh, and, the, you know, he crucified them. He had them killed. He agreed with killing, uh, killing them. And um, he did a lot of horrible things. And then one day, as he was going to another place to handle some other business concerning anyone anyone that believed in the Messiah uh, he had an encounter with the Lord and let me tell you you can you can treat people in the body of Christ any kind of way that you want to but let me tell you something God will have a way of knocking you off like he knocked Paul off of that horse he knocked him off not only did he knock him off but he blinded him okay he blinded him it was something that happened that he he wasn't even expecting to happen, and 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 you know Jesus asked him a question. He was like uh, Saul. He asked him, "Why are you persecuting me?" You know, he wanted to know why are you doing this. And so, even then, God get, had mercy. See, God is so merciful. We think that everything we can look at a person and judge a person and be like, you know, God ain't gonna do this with them, and God ain't gonna do that with them. But do you know that God uses? Who he chooses to use and the bible says that he has mercy on who he chooses to have mercy so that's the god that i serve and i, I want to tell you a little bit more before i get into the rest of the story let me tell you a little bit by myself me as a christian woman i had some issues that that i didn't even realize that i had still going on in the inside of me until one day uh the group that I am connected with is called Susie Brothers Ministries. And I'll leave the number for you guys. You might want to call, hook up, get connected. She doesn't charge for that, for the phone call. She doesn't charge for us, to, for the teaching. And, and it's good. If you don't know, it's good that God puts somebody in your life who can teach y'all. You know, teach us. So anyway, there were some things that were going on in my life. And uh, that was causing me to have unforgiveness in my heart and I did not know and did not realize it but I'll tell you after it was brought to my attention after the Lord spoke to them to, uh, spoke to them and gave them a message for me I knew it was God because they don't live in my household they don't know everything about my situations and what's going on but they did confirm something of the way that I was acting and the way that I was treating certain people I don't have to go into details and the Lord had them correct me. And let me tell you something. The Bible says he chastises those that he loves. I was chastised. I was rebuked. And I thank God for it. And I, yeah, I cried. I was hurt. I felt offended. I felt like they were attacking me. And really, in reality, they were doing only what God had them to do. So, you know, by God chastising me, uh, caused me to get it right. Caused me to make things right with the people that were hurting, that I hurt. Uh, the people that I didn't even, I'm just study going on my Christian life, praying, reading the word, you know, and all this stuff here and has something in my heart that needed to be out. And so I thank God for that. And so just like, just like Saul, before he became Paul, 
he has a oh, they got a line to get in all these oh my god look at this guys if i knew i needed two carpets i would have got them then but now there's a line and when we were in there there were people everywhere now they want a line i just need one more green rug just one more so i'm gonna wait for it i'm gonna go get it this is my i got my uh, mask on hanging off my face but anyway like so like i was telling y'all he had to do that in order to get Paul's attention. So what happened to Paul, it was a little different than what had happened with my situation. So to tell you the truth, it was a lot different. It was, um, he got blinded. and uh, But in him getting, in, in God chastising him, much greater things came out of it. You know, he had already had a plan. While he was, while he had him, while he was blinded, he had gave him a vision. And then the person he was supposed to meet, he had gave him a dream. So see, it was, you know, even though things happen in life, God always has a plan. And what he did, he changed Paul. He changed his name from Saul to Paul. And uh, Paul, let me tell you, became very, 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 very popular in the Bible. And he, um, he did great and mighty works for God. There was things that God had him do. He was assigned. It was an assignment. It was an assignment from God. Um, it was an assignment to God to uh, choose Paul, and he told he told the uh, one guy he was like, "Isn't that the guy that persecuted me? I mean, wasn't that the guy that was killing Christians?" And God said, "Yeah, but he's the one I chose to, to use. I chose him to do the work." So it was it was re it was really good. It was really good. But we'll talk about it more when I get in the car because I'm getting ready to head in the store. But you guys, let me tell you something. Don't ever think that you've done something so bad that God cannot use you because He can. Okay. But you may have to go through some things you just may not understand what and you just may not understand how you're going to do it but trust me he will do it all right guys so i made it into ollie's and i'm going to show you what i'm coming to get simply coming to get a rug uh that i needed but if i knew i needed two i'd have got it thin it's packed in here guys when i say packed i do mean it is packed. i don't even know if you can hear me but i'm talking as loud as i can excuse me his pack so that's why masks are necessary but let me show you guys excuse me i'm sorry no you're okay all right so yeah clear so let's go see if they got the rug that i'm looking for and uh i'll see y'all when i get over there yes they do guys they have some beautiful 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 i uh rugs this one rug that i really like let me show it to you it is so beautiful look at these rugs this one really caught my eye I could do some things with this. But anyway, you know we can't be on the phone long with this music because the girl ain't trying to get a copyright. But there's my rugs, and they got them in three different sizes. But I'm going with this one. This is the one. And look at the price. Only $12. Okay. And I can carry it. It's not that heavy. Huh. So let's go get in this long line. Let's hope it don't take too long. I'll see you at the rest how long these lines are. And uh, I don't know if I'm taking a picture or not. Okay, I think I did. Anyway, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all. Hopefully, we won't be in here long, long. Excuse me. They got the cutest items, guys. Oh my God! Look at this. One hundred and nineteen dollars. Regular price one sixty nine. If you guys can see it, one sixty nine. You can't hardly see it. It's blurry. They have some really nice stuff in here. Look at these nice items in here. Ooh, the line is short. Let me get in here and get on out. Thank you, Jesus. Because I stood in the line a long time earlier. There are no lines. Let's see. Right here. All right, I can get right here. I'm like, got my six feet ma maintained physical distance. I'm there. I'm at it. I was saying, um, just like Paul, read the book of Acts. The Lord even let him know. Hold on. Nobody's in front of me. The Lord even let him know that there was going to be suffering. He let him know ahead. But that didn't turn Paul away. They didn't stop Paul from doing what he was doing. Paul's mind was made up that he was going to serve God and he was going to do whatever God wanted him to do. He went through persecution, suffering, pain. I'm talking about physical pain, you know. Yes, I had to come get another. There's a lot in my, um, I put it in my, it fit in my trunk. Yeah, but I have my trunk. All right, guys, so I got it. But yeah, so I just hope I encourage you to never think that that you you can think that you can walk around and do whatever it is you want to do. But when God needs you to do something for him, he'll knock you off a horse, blind you and send a message to you and get you back on course. So, yeah, that story just encouraged me. And it was so much more 
that it talked about so many different prophets and um it talked about it was just a lot that it talked about it just talked about so much and i was like wow you know it's amazing so try reading it read the book of acts it's 28 chapters and I'm, I will be going back over it again because it's just that good. And this time I'll take notes, but I got caught up in reading it and I didn't want to stop. And that's how good it was. So, yeah, I mean, the word of God is good. It's good for you. And then it makes you realize you think you're going through something. No. Read what Paul went through and many other people that were killed. There were people that were killed like Stephen. And as Stephen died, he even told God to not hold it against the people who done it. Okay, and uh, Saul was a part of that, but God changed his name from Saul, and that's how he became Paul. When God got through with me, I had a new name, you know, so, yeah, trust God in your process. Trust him, you know, it's not going to always be easy. The one of the fruit of the Spirit is long-suffering. Think about it. Jesus suffered a long time for us, but look what came out of his suffering. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, guys, I love you. I just wanted to drop this short message on you guys. I wanted to just give y'all that nugget. It was on my mind. Sorry it's so loud in here. But, um, yeah. See, so y'all be blessed. Thank you so much for liking the videos, commenting. And if you haven't subscribed, what you waiting on? Get your subscription on. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I love you. We have more videos to come. More videos. All right, guys. Bye. All right, guys. So I made it out of the store. Whew. That was quick. All right, they, they should have had it like that earlier here at Ollie's. I mean, it was like everybody come in. The store was so packed. We had to take my grandkids out and let me go in there and get what I needed and get them out. They didn't take me long at all, like 10 minutes, because I knew what I wanted. And I, okay, please tell me you see me over here. Nice little Hummer. Please don't get me, because your nice little Hummer and my black Fusion will not mix. Okay. I don't think they see me okay. But anyway, guys, um, yeah, so I'm oh close. Alright guys, but I just wanted to let y'all know I got my I got my carpet. I can't wait. I'm gonna use my other phone and record that so you guys can see what my son-in-law is doing. I'm proud of him. He's doing a good job. He is such a great handyman. And I'm not just saying that he's a great person, period. Point blank. And uh he I didn't know he could do as much as he could do. You just never know. You know, he could do a lot of stuff. Like I'm really, really amazed. He was brought up great, that he was taught well. So I thank God for him. I thank God for my son-in-law because he has been doing a lot of things, you know. I may not have always agreed with the things, but he's been doing a lot of things. And I must say I appreciate the things he has done. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I'm going to head on home and because um, I got, um, got class tonight and um, can't wait. It's prayer time. If you guys ever need prayer for anything, please list it in the comment section because we go to war when it comes to prayer and your girl will lift you up because you didn't call D Squad family for nothing. You are family. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to get off of here so I can watch the road and I'll be seeing you guys later. Oh, I used to always say this at the end of my videos and I don't know why I stopped. But anyway, I used to say this here. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a kiss. And I would always tell you, this is what you have to do. All right, you ready? All right, catch it.